We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. President Bongbong Marcos has extended the nationwide state of calamity due to COVID-19 for possibly three months or until the end of the year. This as the previous state of calamity declared by former President Rodrigo Duterte expires today, September 12. Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles said this is to preserve the benefits that local government units can get such as emergency procurement, tax exemptions, price control and special risk allowance for health workers. Cruz Angeles said they will transition out of the state of calamity after further review. The Department of Health or DOH earlier recommended the extension of the state of calamity to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council or NDRRMC. President Bongbong Marcos has signed Executive Order No. 3 allowing the voluntary wearing of face masks outdoors. Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles said under EO No. 3, people may now choose to wear masks in open spaces and non-crowded, well-ventilated outdoor areas. Face masks must still be worn in indoor, private or public establishments as well as public transportation and places where physical distancing cannot be maintained. Meanwhile, senior citizens and those with weak immunity are strongly encouraged to keep wearing face masks. All other minimum public health standards will be adjusted depending on the status of COVID-19 cases. The EO takes into consideration that 72 million individuals or 93% of the target population are now fully vaccinated while 18 million or 23% have booster doses. The EO comes out as several LGUs implement voluntary wearing of face masks on their own. The Department of Budget and Management or DBM warns the public against falling for a fraudulent solicitation scheme for alleged faster release of funds. The department said some scammers have been drafting documents and asking local chief executives to sign the requests, identify contractors and ask for money under the false pretense that the release of the subject funds will be expedited soonest. In a statement, the DBM condemned such fraudulent claims and activities and vowed to coordinate with proper authorities to determine the persons behind this false representation and solicitation. The agency is also working with the Department of the Interior and Local Government for the issuance of a memo to caution and advise local government units against this illegal undertaking. The DBM is urging the public to report similar fraudulent activities through their number. These series of abduction cases in the country prompted Senator Grace Poe to file a resolution urging the Senate Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs to conduct an investigation on the matter. The resolution cited the kidnapped slay of pharmaceutical executive Eduardo Tolosa Jr., who was reportedly burned for three days by his abductors. Five suspects have already surrendered. Poe also cited the circulating traffic video of an alleged kidnapping case at the Skyway. To date, the PNP anti-kidnapping group has recorded 27 kidnapping cases from January to September. Of the said number, 15 cases are related to offshore gambling operations, 11 kidnap for ransom cases, and one casino related. Committee Chair Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, meanwhile, said the brains behind the series of abductions may be testing the administration of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. He said he will wait for Poe's referral of the resolution before opening an inquiry. And that is the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I am William Theo. Good afternoon, all.